This Terraria mod completely fixes this Terraria class. The Dark Guns Plus mod adds in some of the most unique dart weapons I've ever seen. There's even a Zenith dart gun. So let's hop in game and check them all out. Hey yo everyone, so we're here checking out this Terraria mod that adds in a bunch of new dart weapons for the dart subclass. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. Now Terraria does have a handful of dart weapons. As we can see, we got the blowpipe, the blowgun, the dart pistol, the dart rifle. So there is obviously interest from the devs about dart weapons. So this developer said, hey, I'm gonna expand on that because I love me some subclasses. I can relate to that because I love when subclasses get expanded too. But let's hop straight into it. Let's grab a handful of weapons here. I have no idea what the order of them are. I just legit grabbed a bunch of them. But another thing we got look at first before we just start grabbing weapons is this right here look at this a bunch of new darts just like there's bullets arrows all kinds of different variations look at that we got that for darts also you can't forget the endless one so go ahead and stuff that in my pocket let's get to it though starting with this one dart zapper small chance to spawn a lightning strike on hit that already sounds crazy you just go from regular dart weapon that can spawn lightning oh my god <laughs> Imagine getting struck by lightning couldn't be me. I'm probably gonna get struck by lightning next time I walk outside for some reason. And let's see this baby in action. Oh, I'm liking the little lightning. This is a nice little change of pace sort of early game weapon. It's basic, but at the same time, it's got a little kick to it. Moving on to the spore flinger. Chance to spawn three mushrooms around the target on hit. I like the noise it makes and I like the attack. That is one thing I really like when mod developers do, and that is add in custom noises or just use noises in Terraria that are barely used. Because a lot of the time, you'll just play Terraria mods and like every weapon just makes the same noise. Every enemy too, like it's nice to see little changes like that. We got enchanted dart caster. Enchanted darts accelerate over time and spawn two more enchanted darts around the target. Let's see, damn! This is some Doctor Strange portal type of attack. I'm messing with it. Hold up. Let's bring in like the King Slime because I feel like this would be a good attack against the King Slime. Especially once all the uh, slime starts spawning from it. I mess with that one. What's after that though? Dart Storm shoots a spread of four darts. So this is our shotgun. So you can see we got some screen shake. It seems like I got a little bit of recoil. We actually move a little bit. Dartarang. Right click to throw the gun as a boomerang which will shoot darts on its way periodically. So I'm assuming we can left click and shoot it normally. But then we can right click and it also shoots stuff. I like the noises. They sound like TF2 noises. <laughs> they might not be, but that's what it sounds like to me. We got the Bumble Barrage. Shoots a random assortment of one to three darts and bees rapidly. Of course, it's a bee themed weapon. So what's it gonna do? It's gonna shoot bees. It's gotta do that. You're not allowed to add a bee weapon to Terraria if it doesn't shoot bees somewhere. We got Astral Amalgam. Shoots a piercing astral laser. Whoa, every four hits. Okay. So we shot that off rip. And then we got the blaze bringer. Inflicts on fire and a chance to spawn an explosion on hit. I see the fire. Is the explosion that little tiny like orange puff? <laughs> Not really an explosion. More than it is just like a slight orange circle on the screen. But we got this one next. The Katakazi, the, Kataka the Katanakazi. Spawn slashes on hit. Right click to swing as a blade instead. So I could straight up just use this as a sword? Okay. Parried projectiles are deflected back and three bolts are fired off in the direction of the cursor. Parrying projectile gives us regen and swiftness. A maximum two projectiles can be parried per second. So this is kind of sick. So it's like a an all-in-one. We can use it as a dart and then we can also use it as a sword. And apparently we could also parry projectiles. This is the perfect enemy to parry projectiles, I hope. Oh yeah. I'm not seeing the projectiles being sent back. Maybe it's the type of projectile because I know that the goblins are weird with their projectiles. I need a skeleton archer. That's who I need. Boom. Oh, God is that. Oh, and it says parry. That's sick. So far, like the uh, like sprite quality and everything from this mod is amazing. True, everything's been amazing so far, if I'm being honest. After that, we got the Violent Vigilante. Oh my bad, Violent, not Violent. Occasionally creates short-lived slashes of darkness on hit. Ooh. And it's got a pretty good uh, rate of fire. 
a little kind of mini gun or mini shark type rate of fire after that we got the stellar frenzy chance to spawn a star from the sky come on if it's a sky weapon it's got a chance to drop a star that's just how it works it's the same thing with the bees we got the quill storm shoots harpy feathers and darts alternately in a cone the number of projectiles increases each shot from one to four okay so we start with one and then it goes two three four so kind of cool covers a lot of area good against like the king slimes you can hit them multiple times and cover a big spread we got Lil Kraken next half squid half dark gun completely stunning this one sounds like it's gonna shoot fast and I like the idea instead of a shark it's a Kraken so I'm messing with this one heavy next up we got gore and glory swings twice as a sword then shoots a spread of five to seven minutes. what the hell <laughs> So more sword weapons. I kind of like the idea of using a dart weapon as a sword. And then it's got a shotgun blast. Insanely loud shotgun blast. And it sounds like it gets cut off when you shoot it. But it's a cool idea. It's like low key a subclass to the dark class, which is already a subclass. We got dysphoria. Chance to spawn four homing dysphoric bolts. Okay. Let me see these bolts. Nice little homing shot. Can't go wrong with homing shots in Terraria. Less aim in the better. And then we got Crimson Cobra. Chance to inflict the Blood Butcher debuff and spawn a Bloodthorn projectile and hit. Hey, the Bloodthorn. A weapon that I still don't think I've gotten my hands on to use in a regular playthrough. But it exists. It does exist. It's not a fake weapon. So we should be entering a hard mode set of weapons here. Let me just get rid of the King Song. Let me just get rid of everything. We got the Cherry Blossom. Shoots a spread of three darts. Every three hits shoots Cherry Leaf projectiles. These projectiles spawn clusters of pink pellets. Okay, I'm messing with that. I'm really messing with the sounds, bro. The sounds are just nice. So let's bring in a hard mode boss. Who is a hard mode boss I could bring in? I don't want to bring in somebody too strong. And I don't really want to bring in. Oh, we can bring in the Queen Song. Perfect. This is sort of our like medium boss. Not even medium. This is like the first boss supposed to fight in hard mode, right? She's kind of taking the hits though. After that, we got Giga Kraken. Lil Kraken's older cousin. So this is our mega shark to our mini shark. And as you can see, it actually spawns like little fishes that drop from the sky. That's kind of cool. It doesn't say that. We got the Euphoria instead of the Dysphoria. Chance to spawn swords around the target on hit. This looks like this is a, a hollowed weapon. So this has got to be in our right area now in terms of damage, probably. I think what's mattering a lot with our damage is our darts. Because our darts only do four damage. We got Scatterhook shoots a random spread of five to eight darts. Chance to spawn Golem Fist. I'm messing with it. Dang on. This thing got some knock back to it yo this is dope you can spawn a crazy amount of fists look at this and then when you left click they attack where you're aiming that's really cool that might be the most creative one i've seen we got onyx storm we get some onyx blaster love shoots a spread of four darts along with the single black bolt projectile so pretty much onyx blaster with a little bit more to it and it's also a dart weapon instead we got volatile contraption shoots darts followed by mechanical bombs and a controllable and chargeable laser these bombs explode into mini probes retinaser and spaz on hit the laser deals more damage at your cursor okay this sounds crazy so it said it shoots bombs where are these where are these little bombs that okay and then it spawns a little retinaser and then we get a laser oh my god <laughs> love me some laser weapons this is a cool idea i like that we get the little summons of the bosses a little retinaser a little probe sick we got true dysphoria it says energy builds up over 15 seconds which can be used to fire a special projectile by right clicking hitting enemy with this projectile will spawn a magnet while the magnet is active green dysphoric bolts will spawn which will fly into the magnet when the magnet disappears all the absorbed bolts are spewed outwards this sounds like something you get from like picking up certain items and binding vials we're building synergies out here okay so i can i, I can right click so boom the magnet right there the bottom left is where the magnet is and then the magnet should explode eventually. Queen slime, where'd you go? <laughs> we got the rosemary and thyme. Thyme, how do you say that? Shoots darts uh, and spawns pl mini planters on hit, which periodically shoot leaves. Let's see it. I'm trying to see these little mini planters. Okay, look at that. We got the little planters all gathered around me with homing leaves. I'm messing with this. All right, next up, glacial geyser. Chance to spawn icicles from the ground. Okay, and it charges up five powerful freeze bolts and this freeze bolts spawn 15 icicles between you and their spot of death on hit that's a long description but let's see how crazy this is oh okay i'm messing with that so it's kind of a weapon the longer you use it the more wilder it gets 
which as you can see just killed a bunch of them with that attack we got the verdant stalker a slow firing sniper rifle a chance to spawn a leaf on here which chases three nearby enemies okay so this is your more uh slow and steady weapon i don't think i've ever been a type of terrarium player to use something like the sniper rifle for a game where dps matters a lot i feel like using a slow single shot weapon is not that good we got the luminescence chance to spawn a rainbow bolt low chance to spawn a little empress and the empress fires lasers at your cursor yo i like these little enemies that spawn around you i think it's my favorite thing about the mod oh oh hitting their ass with the lasers and these lasers do decent damage all right we got the crown cascade shoots random assortments of four to six shark runs bubbles and darts spawns a whirlpool when you kill an enemy right click to teleport to it Ooh. and then if there is no whirlpool you can right click to dash towards your cursor which injures enemies so let's see it we got bubbles we got shark runs and we got darts this seems like this is gonna be a pretty good weapon and it's around duke level so you know it's gonna be good because duke is pretty much that later half of the game and then you see the little little whirlpool right click boom i'm over there now so that's really cool got a lot of utility to it we got the true euphoria chance to spawn swords okay we saw that already and then we got the energy building up which we can right click when we hit an enemy a web of lasers spawns around the enemy interconnected by swords hit the same enemy again to activate these lasers when the lasers and swords disappear an explosion occurs this weapon sounds like it's gonna be insane let me bring a weaker enemy because we're using bad darts and we're wearing no armor so our damage isn't the greatest so let me bring in deer clops who i know is the loudest enemy but let's see this in action we got the regular left click which is spawning the swords and then we got the right click and that put a bunch of swords on them that are just constantly doing damage and then they're supposed to explode eventually yeah there we go when they talk about explosion in this mod i keep expecting like crazy explosion i'm too used to that i'm too used to like some michael bay ass explosion martian marksman hit enemies to charge up a powerful lightning strike so this one i was gonna say maybe it's like a sniper nah it's got some decent fire rate so it cannot be like a sniper but we charge it up oh i'm supposed to keep holding that foot charge it up and let's see Ooh, it's like a tesla gun bro and it goes where my mouse cursor is i can control it that's kind of sick how far can i get i can get pretty far that low key might be my favorite i like the idea of that we got halloween hex hits enemies to charge up various attacks spawns a damaging ritual aura that around you after five hits after 10 hits five jack-o-lanterns start revolving around you and on 15 the jack-o-lanterns explode so we got a little bit of a multi-combo weapon here look at that boom we get the little circles around us we get the jack-o-lanterns around us and then they all explode and hit the enemy sick what if i just you know just don't even do anything so i could literally just damage enemies like this and then we got the serenity chance to spawn two serene bolts on hit that accelerate towards the nearest enemy energy builds up over 10 seconds which can be used to fire a special projectile by right clicking lightning bolts strike on the path of the projectile as it travels this sounds crazy hitting an enemy uh with a projectile will mark the enemy serene slashes will attack the marked enemy right click again to recall the projectile release and flurry this thing sounds insane so let's just see the left click this is the base left click and then let's see the right click the right click is just slashing at him got his ass we got our last five weapons here starting with laser therapy hit enemies to charge up a powerful pink lightning strike the lightning strike splits in up to four lightning bolts which target different enemies okay let's just see it in action normally what you got for us oh okay so it's a stronger version of the uh the martian weapon we had which is cool i mess with it but it's not really laser therapy it's more of like electrocution so let's bring in the golem here and i want to hit him with it i want to hit him with this oh look at that it targets multiple pieces i mess with this attack heaven i mess with like the lightning i don't know lightning interior is sick we got the stellar outrage shoots five darts in a burst and the darts have a chance to be replaced by large stars these stars spawn trails of damaging stars chance to spawn stellar slashes on hits chance to spawn large stars on hit from above damn so it just sounds like an insane amount of stars it's pretty much like star fury but in a dart weapon hey what the hell what queen bee making an appearance after that we got caribidus caribidus builds up shooting speed as you fire darts are sometimes replaced by vortex beams okay kind of a weird way to hold a weapon especially given that we've been holding most of the weapons normally <laughs> they're still holding it by like the middle and then we got Scylla shoots a random spread of seven to nine darts darts are sometimes replaced by vortex beams so it's got the attack from that one right click to shoot out a controllable hook you can move while the hook is out right click again while the hook is out to retract it preemptively pulls in small enemies to you and pulls you towards large enemies automatically fires a round when you reach the hook enemy 
Okay, so this sounds crazy, and as you can see, it's got some crazy uh, kickback and screen shake. But let's see the right click. Ooh, yeah, I feel like Luke Skywalker when he was finding the AT-AT. -AT. But that's pretty cool, I miss with that. That we could just grapple on enemies. Come on, let me grapple on there. Damn. Last but not least, we have sticks. Spawns a damaging ruin around you while holding this weapon. Various dark guns from your journey revolve around you and shoot when you do. Damage skills based on distance from the target. You deal more damage the closer you are. And as you can see, it's got all the guns. Yes, this is the zenith of dark guns. Let's check it out. Makes a crazy noise when you take it out. That's how you know this is legit. This is so sick, bro. This is so sick. But let's bring it out against the golem and let's hit him with everything we got, bro. It says the closer we are, the more damage we do, which is interesting because this is a range class. I don't really want to get that close. But if I do a lot of damage, then I guess I don't really got a problem getting that close. But this is just so cool presentation wise. This is what I see when I see Terraria Zenith weapons. Like this is exactly what I want to see for any mods that make Zenith weapons. This, this is perfect right here. So the mod developer, you did great. And the damage is amazing. I'm not wearing a DPS meter. People are going to get mad about that. My bad. <laughs> I'm on a different world. I, I had to hop into a beta version of two mod loaded players. Yeah, as you can see, there's the recipe. It doesn't take like as many swords as the Zenith. Zenith does. Let me look at the Zenith recipe. It's only what 10 swords? It's not that bad. It's not like every single weapon. But yeah, there we go. There was all the just normal dart weapons. Now let's check out the accessories and then we can play around with some of the bullets too. We got this one, the spyglass. Uh shows us weak points on nearby enemies. Shoot these weak points to deal more damage. That sounds sick. So let me take that out and let's see some weak points. How does this work? Oh, that's really cool. What the hell? Weak point, and it'll tell you when you hit the weak point. I'm not with that let's see it on other enemies yo it puts multiple on them i can't hit them in the foot so i don't know if that's a good thing but i like that that's actually really cool after that we have uh let's, let's do this one reflective coating hit hostile projectiles with darts in the area around you to deflect them we got dart license this is just pretty much a damage up we got altitude annihilator which also is a damage up but only if you're above your target so if we are above we shoot down like that you know we're hitting five sevens eights but then we put this baby on we had a 14, 23, so pretty sick. And then we got the tranquilizer attachment. Are these materials? No, they're not. Uh, chance to inflict tranquilize. This debuff slows on enemies and poisons them. Less effective on bosses. So there is a handful of accessories I would like to see more, even though I know the class is a part of Ranger and does range damage. So there's an okay amount of accessories. But I would like to see probably most of these accessories be able to be combined together. Because if you're playing anything outside of expert mode where you don't get an extra accessory slot, even master mode too, it's it's kind of annoying to have to put more slots for stuff like this so i would like for some of these to be combinable all into one and then we got the darts of course most of them are pretty normal the usual suspects you would expect but then some of them are pretty good let's see this meteor one this one actually spawns in meteors and then we got the high velocity one look at this <laughs> Bullets are zooming. Literally, the bullets on the screen for like half a second. We got Spectre, which chases enemies. So let me see. Let me spawn in a bunch of enemies. Oh, yeah. So this is homie. That could be like really good at combo with some of these darts. And then we got Heavenly Darts. This is our uh, Daedalus Stormbow combo that we could do here also drops from the sky like the daedalus stormbow we got chlorified darts these spawn spores on a hit if i can hit them okay i missed but there's a spores that can actually be good for enemies that don't move too much venom darts kind of do the same thing but venom cloud and then we got the luminite one chances on three luminite bolts on death darts leave a damage trail so look at that we leave that little like bullet trail behind it and then when we kill something we do like even more damage right so pretty sick i am messing with it heavy you guys let me know in the comments y'all y'all want to see like a playthrough with this dart only class because there's been dart only mods before but they're not as like fleshed out as this because obviously the quality of this is extremely high and i'm very impressed by everything from it there is like i said earlier there's a couple of ha more handful of things i'd like to see probably more accessories or just really cool gimmicky things but they're definitely on the right track for where they are with this mod so shout out to the developer that worked on it make sure you Y'all check out the mod. I kind of like that you could do damage with the Zenith weapon like this too. 
but I guess it's sick. <laughs> but make sure to check out the mod. Hey, if y'all want to see that potential dark playthrough, let me know. Leave a comment. Also, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any videos. Make sure to check out my second channel and my Twitch. If you don't know, I stream on Twitch. Same username, Gamers101 on there. And when I'm done streaming, I usually post the streams to my second channel, which is Game Raiders Live. No spaces or nothing. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a good one. I'll see y'all next time.